Hey, honey. How's it going? How was the construction site? Oh, that new foreman is a total tool bag. We all hate him. And I hate getting up at 5 a.m. and so far away. Can you believe I have to drive a half hour to get here every morning for the next two months? I know. It's tough not having you here in the mornings. Especially because I'm, you know, pregnant. Oh, yeah. Um, how did the appointment go today with the pediatrician? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is good. 15 weeks, moving right along. Well, that's good. I just wish this morning sickness would chill out for a while. I never thought it would be this bad. Well, did the doctor say it was normal? I mean, isn't that just something that all women go through? Yeah, but I guess some women go through it more than others. I'm one of those women. Always trying to be special, huh, babe? You always were, right? Didn't you ride the special buzz? <laughs> um, okay. That's not even funny in the slightest. Hey, I'm just joking. We have a disabled uh, kid working for us at the site. That's what you call them, right? I don't know, David. Why don't you just ask him? I'm sure he could tell you what he wants to be called. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess so. So, um, how are you feeling now? I mean, it's afternoon, so you must not be feeling very sick anymore, right? Um, actually, I still do feel kind of sick. I just drove past a Japanese steakhouse on my way home. The stench was overpowering. Well, uh, that's weird. I wonder why. Is it the soy sauce or something? I think it's the meat, to be honest. It's been happening for a while now. With meat? What do you mean? Well, it's just like whenever I get even the slightest whiff of meat, I feel like I'm going to throw up instantly. Well, maybe it was just that particular Japanese steakhouse, you know? Maybe they were cooking like... Cooking what, David? I don't know, uh... Sparky, you know? Oh god, would you please stop it with that stuff? What? I've heard of it happening. I mean, it's weird that the smell of meat would make you sick all of a sudden. Well, not if you're pregnant. Not if you have morning sickness. Well, how would I know anything about that? I've never been pregnant. Um, no, you haven't. Thank God. Thank God is right. You could never handle it. Oh, really? You think? Absolutely not. You'd fold in three seconds. Men aren't cut out for giving birth. Whatever. That's BS. I could, so you have no idea what I'm cut out for. Men go to war, remember? Oh, yes. I remember, but you don't. Whatever. Look, I'm already starving. What are we having for dinner tonight? Um, I don't know. I was thinking about lasagna. Maybe some salad and breadsticks. Oh, okay. Cool. You haven't made lasagna in a while. I could probably eat a whole one. Well then, I'll make a whole one for my hungry man. You're going to be making it with that uh, Bob Evans pork sausage though, right? I love that pork sausage. It has just enough spice, you know? Not too much. I never get any acid reflux. Um, well, honey, I was hoping that you wouldn't have a problem if... Yeah, I don't know. I probably will. What is it? Well, if I just make... a vegetarian lasagna tonight? Vegetarian? What do you mean, vegetarian? Well, you know, honey. Like, vegetables. From the ground. Uh, no. I don't think so. But I just got done telling you that the smell of cooked meat is making me vomit. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, babe, but I have to have meat in my lasagna. But honey, I'm pregnant. It's making me sick. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not my problem. Not your problem, but it is your problem. I'm your wife, the mother of your child. 
Well, I still don't see what the big deal is. How could you not see what the big deal is, David? Well, you are pregnant. You get sick. Things make you throw up. It's normal. Why should I have to rearrange my whole life? Um, because that's part of being a parent? That's part of loving someone? Yeah, but I'm not going to be your parent, am I? Yes, but I'm your wife, and you love me, right? I mean, you love me, don't you? Well, um, yeah. Then please, can't you just put up with no meat lasagna for a few months? Well, no, I can't. Sorry, but I'm a working man, and I need my meat. You're unbelievable, David. What? I want to eat what I want. Fine. You know what? Fine. I'll make your stupid pork sausage lasagna. And I'll wear a gas mask while I do it. How's that? Fine. Fine. Hey, sis. What's up? Well, hello there, Mommy. How was the appointment today? Oh, fine, fine. No problems there. Mama and baby are happy and healthy. So, are there problems somewhere else? Well, you could say things are less than ideal on the home front right now. Oh, no. Now what? What's that lughead doing to my sister now? Well, have you ever heard of morning sickness being made worse by the smell of meat? Morning sickness made worse by meat? Like just the smell or eating it too? Oh god, forget about eating it. And by morning, I mean all of the time. Just the smell is making me run to the bathroom like an Olympian. I don't know, I haven't heard of that, but it doesn't surprise me. Pregnancy is a strange, mysterious thing. Well, mom says it's a strange and wonderful thing, but I'm not so sure. Well, there are good days and bad. You're just having a bad one. Or a series of bad ones with a bad husband that isn't making it any better. So what is he doing? Well, he's refused to stop cooking meat in the house while I'm pregnant. What? Are you serious? Yep. The big man construction worker has to have his meat. Mr. Macho Man, you know? Well, can't he just eat McDonald's for lunch? He doesn't like McDonald's. In fact, he hates all fast food and processed meats. But anything that stinks up the house, he's all in for. Gee, I'm sure his cardiologist loves. That he's young and he doesn't think he needs one? Well, he will if he keeps eating the entire farm at that rate. I just don't understand how he could not give one crap about how I'm feeling. I mean, I'm his wife. I'm the mother of his child and this is really bothering me. I mean, first thing in the morning, 5 a.m., he's in there frying up sausages. Ew, at 5 a.m., that would make me sick too. Yeah, I mean, he hates salad. I don't go flapping lettuce in his face. No, but you should. Big remains and put some baby carrots in his ears too. Well, I don't know about all of that. So he's just outright refusing to stop cooking meat in the house? Outright refusing. And you know how stubborn he is when he says he's not going to do something. That's it. A hurricane couldn't move him. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I bide my time for now. See what happens next. See what happens next? What does that mean? Exactly what it says. What happens next? I will see. Well, why don't you just put your foot down? Tell him that he simply has to stop cooking meat in the house. Or else. Or else what? Or else you're moving out. Oh, come on, Bianca. I can't say that. Why not? Of course you can. You have to. Because you know who I am. What kind of person I am? Spineless? A lightweight? Feeble? Um, yeah. Well, you're just going to have to grow up and grow a pair, sis. This is your health we're dealing with here. The health of my niece. I know you're right. It's just... Ugh, he's been such an a-hole lately. And why do you suppose that is? I mean, lately as opposed to always? Well, I guess it's just the daunting unknowns of becoming a father. I mean, I would imagine, right? It is kind of a massive challenge for him. And he's never been exactly the most mature of guys to begin with. But I don't know. Mom always said that dad had to grow into the role, that he was all freaked out at first too. Maybe the same thing will happen with David. Yeah, Emily. 
But dad would never have forced mom to smell his gross cooked meat. He would never have intentionally made her throw up. Do you think that's what he's doing? That he's doing it because he wants me to be sick? Who knows, Emily? But maybe that's something you should start considering. But that's so evil. He's not an evil guy. At least I never thought he was. Yeah, but there's inadvertent evil, isn't there? Inadvertent evil? Yeah. You know, just out of pure selfishness. The banality of evil, you know? I don't think that's the same thing, but I get your point. Oh, well, maybe I've just always liked that phrase. It does sound cool, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's definitely not a cool thing to be, especially if it describes your freaking husband. Well, I don't know what to do now. I just told you what to do. You have to stand up to the jerk. Like, now. That's a lot easier for you to say. First of all, I'm pregnant and exhausted all the time. And secondly, when he gets home, he is so grumpy. Like, like, totally unapproachable. There's no way I could say anything like that. Or even broach the subject of meat again. Ugh, meat. Even the word makes me want to gag. Well, what about the weekends? Can you talk to him then? He's going to the barbecue festival with his friend Sal. Okay. Isn't there any other time you can talk to him? Bianca, you don't understand. He's always like this now. He's always in a bad mood. Have you considered counseling, maybe? Yeah, that would go over like the Hindenburg. Ugh, honey, I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Well, then that makes two of us. Maybe even three. Hey, babe. What's up? How's it going? How are you feeling today? Um, hey, David. I'm doing okay. Actually, since you've been at the meat convention all weekend, the house has been smelling good. So, I've been feeling great, actually. So are you and Sal on your way home? Yeah, he's driving because I had a few too many beers at the last barbecue buffet. Whoops. Oh, well. It's only once a year, right? I hope Sal hasn't been drinking, though. Right? Well, yeah. Only a couple, though. Um, okay. Just tell him to be careful. Hey, Sal. The woman says be careful. Um, David, you didn't say that. You texted it. Huh? Oh, whoops. My bad. <laughs> right. Uh, it's okay. Are you okay? Yeah, babe. I just ate a lot of barbecue this weekend. Like, a lot. Honestly, I kind of look like you now. I kind of feel like you too. How's that working? Well, I kind of feel like I have a baby. A big ol' meat baby in my belly. <laughs> okay, well, that is just weird and revolting. Oh well. That's me, right? That's part of my charm. Um, sure. Well, can you check and make sure that the fries are out of the garage? That there's enough space in it. Space in it for what? Well, for all our meat, of course. All the stuff that we got at the con. You bought meat at the con? Well, of course. You didn't think I was coming out empty-handed, did you? Ugh, fine, fine. At least it'll be in the garage. Oh, right. The smell. Well, I guess you better put a laundry basket out there in the garage for me, too. A laundry basket? Why? Well, for my clothes. They totally reek of smoked and grilled meats. I don't think you'd want that in your house now, would you? Ugh, no. In fact, maybe we could just burn them in the backyard before you come in, have a little barbecue. Wouldn't that be nice? What are you talking about? What is your deal? This whole... meat thing. When will it ever end? What? I'm a man. I love my meat. I'm a growing boy. But it makes me sick. What if it's making your child sick too? Oh, come on, Emily. Don't be ridiculous. That's impossible. Well, I don't know. It probably is. But do you want to risk it? You're just being paranoid. The smell of meat can't make a baby sick. But her mother being sick all of the time can. Would you just relax and take a freaking Pepto already? You know what, David? I'm beginning to think that maybe you want me to be sick. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean I want you to be sick? Maybe you're trying to get me sick. 
I don't know. Who knows? I mean, anything is possible, right? No, no. Anything is not possible. Why would I try to get you sick? That would be like... evil. I don't know, David. I don't want to speculate any further. No, wait, wait. You better explain yourself. You better explain why you'd make such an accusation as to accuse me of intentionally trying to make my wife and child sick. How dare you? Look, can we just talk about this later? I'm pregnant and tired and exhausted. And I know those last two things are the same thing. Well, fine. But we better talk about it. This totally isn't cool, Emily. Yeah, well, just strip down in the garage. I'll put a clean pair of clothes out there for you. Okay. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. You're the best. Fine, sure, no problem. Whatever. But, um, could you also not forget to make room in the freezer? Um, yeah, of course not. Thanks, dear. I love you. Yeah, you too. Emily, what the hell is going on? Where are you? I'm at my sister's, David. And frankly, I don't know why it would be a surprise to you. Why wouldn't it be a surprise to me? What are you talking about? Oh, come on. It can't be much of a shock that I wouldn't want to be there when you got home from that stupid con. And why is that? Think about it. For two seconds, Bren. Even if you're capable of that. What? What do you mean? Do you think I'd want you to stink up the entire house with that stench? The washing machine? The bathroom? Oh, come on. It's not that bad. That isn't for you to decide, David. I'm the one who's pregnant here, not you. And I can't live in that house with the smell all the time. I can't live with you. Wait, what are you saying? Well, I'm sorry. I just can't live with someone whose pores are leaking animal protein at all hours. So I'm just gonna have to stay with my sister until I have the baby. What? Are you serious? You can't do that. I can, and I have. I'm already here. But, but I'm gone all day. I'm exhausted when I get home. Who's going to cook for me? Did you seriously just say that? Did you seriously just type those words? I typed them. I thought of them first, then I typed them. So you thought them. Wow, you could have fooled me, David. Well, thinking them and thinking about them before I said them are two different things, I guess. There you go, David. So much needed self-awareness. Look, just come home. We can talk about this. We could, uh, go get a salad at a... Uh, oh, God. A uh, salad bar. No, David. I don't think I can be around you at all right now. That smell, it's just permeating everything about you. Your skin, your hair. Ugh, I'm getting sick. Wait, you're getting sick just thinking about me? Yes, just thinking about you and that bloody, irony smell. Ugh, that's what I'm beginning to associate you with, David. Things that make me vomit. So what does that mean? Well, I guess it means that if you keep up this unhealthy addiction to me, I will have a genuine, conditioned response to be repulsed by you. You mean like, psychologically? Yes, that is precisely what I mean. Whenever I see you from now on, I'm going to start feeling sick. I think I saw that in a movie once. Yeah, well, this is not a movie, so you better seriously consider getting your crap together if you want to save our marriage, David. Okay, okay. I'll try. You'll try? And how will you try? You mean you're going to try to stop eating meat? Well, no, I can't do that. But I'll try to eat it out of the house. Really? You will? Yeah, I will, if it means that much to you. Well, it's not that it means that much to me, David. I need it for the baby. Okay, right, right. That's what I meant. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, it's not only that. The house just reeks of it. I need you to clean it. Like, seriously, clean it. Deep clean it. Okay, okay. I can do that. Like, clean it like there was a murder there, and you would have been the prime suspect. Oh. Murder? Yeah, you know. 
Like on those shows with bodies and the killer has to clean up the crime scene. Wait, what are you talking about? Crime scenes and bodies? I'm just using it as a metaphor, David. Oh, okay then. Just make sure the house is clean, that the smell is out. Call a professional and have them do it if you want to. Actually, that's probably a better idea. Well, how much is that going to cost me? I don't know, David. I have no idea. You'll have to look into it, I guess. You can do that, can't you? Well, I guess it's just that you're the one who usually does this stuff, aren't you? Does what? You know, like researching stuff and taking care of the house. Okay, so not only am I expected to cook your meat for you, I'm expected to find some professional house cleaners to clean up the stench? Well, you're the one who's bothered by it so much. <sighs> I'll look up a couple of names, but that's it, okay? That's as far as I'm going with this. You're going to have to learn how to help yourself from now on. I can't take care of two babies. Okay, well, how much is this going to cost? Is it expensive to hire professional house cleaners? Honestly, I have no idea, David. Well, you don't expect me to pay for it all, do you? What do you mean? Explain yourself. You mean you're saying that I have to use all of my money on this? Yes! Yes, you have to use all of your money on this, David. But why? It's your problem. No, it's your problem. You caused it. And now, it's both of our problems. Well, it's your house, you know. You are absolutely ridiculous. Do you know that? Yeah, I know. But whatever, I don't care. I'm so tired of you and all of your problems. What? My problems? Like being pregnant with your child? Well, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I mean. Wait, are you saying that you don't want this baby? Is that what you're saying, David? No, no. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm... I'm drunk. I've got the meat sweats. The meat sweats, Emily. Well, give me a call when you figure it out. In the meantime, I'll be with my sister. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, Emily, I'll get the house cleaned. I'll pay for it. I'll stop cooking and eating meat inside, okay? Thank you, David. And why are you doing it? Why? What do you mean? I mean, I need to know your reasons for doing it. Because... because you'll be mad at me if I don't. David, are you serious? What? No, no. Definitely not. I was just joking. You better be. I'm serious, David. No more joking. This is our lives we're talking about. The life of our child. What's more important, that or bacon? Well, I mean, that depends. Are you talking about hickory smoked or maple? Just shut up! Oh, nothing much. Just sitting in the living room watching Jeopardy with a gas mask on. What? A gas mask? What are you talking about? Yep, my husband is at it again. He's grilling steaks with salt in the backyard. But... but didn't he just have the whole house cleaned? Yep. And didn't he promise you that he wouldn't have any more meat in the house? <sighs> that he did. Then what the hell is he doing? Well, to hear him explain it, the backyard is not technically the house. Which, of course, he's technically right. Well, yeah, okay. But the problem is, is that he's too cheap to turn on the air conditioning this month. So we have all the windows open. Oh, great. And not only the smells of his juicy grilling flesh are wafting in and out, but the entire backyard cookout smell from every house in the neighborhood is seemingly swirling all around me. Oh my god. So you're seriously sitting there with a gas mask on? I would not joke about something so patently ridiculous. And he's seen you in this thing. What has he said about it? Oh yeah, he thinks it's funny. A real laugh riot. But... but I thought you said he was taking this seriously. Now, he said that he's compromised enough that he doesn't feel like the backyard should be part of the deal. But that smell travels. Look, what can I tell you? Ugh, I just don't get it. I do not understand why this freaking guy can't just stop with the meat until you have the baby. 
I'm starting to think maybe he isn't human. Like, maybe he's part tiger or something. Wouldn't fool me in the slightest, hun. More like a jackal, though. Well, I don't know what else to do. There is nothing else to do. I have to leave him. Plain and simple. Really? You're going to do it finally. Like, all the way? I don't see what other choice I have. I mean, at least until I have the baby, right? I guess so. I guess you have to. You have to do it for your health, physical, and mental. And that last one? It's getting to be a little frayed around the edges. Well, I would think so. Your husband is a meat-addicted lunatic. But what do I tell the judge in divorce court? We just couldn't agree on dinner? No. Tell them that this buffoon had no regard for the health of his wife and child. Ugh, I swear, I never thought it would end up like this, Bianca. Well, it just sounds to me like the guy isn't mature enough to be married yet, much less be having a baby. And it's a little too late for both of those. Well, at least you can fix one of them. Yeah. Fix. Sure. Okay, then do the right thing for you and your baby. Do you think that he'll see it that way? I don't know if he's smart. He'll see it as you giving him a way out. A way out? Yeah. Some dads are just better dads on the weekend, and some guys are just not cut out to be husbands. Well, you would know. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you do too. Well, I guess I should break it to him. The sooner the better, right? You can do it, sis. Hi, Emily. How's our little bundle of joy doing today? Hey, David. She's doing good. A little stinker, of course. And hungry as her daddy. Oh, Well, I guess that just proves that she's mine then. Now who else would she be? Nobody else is. Just kidding. You better be. We may not be together now, but I was always faithful to you. I know. And I was too. Except for all the chicken wings, of course. So I heard you're going to Nashville for the new meat con. Your dad told me. Oh yeah. Sal and I should have fun. I'm really happy for you, David. What do you mean? Well, I mean... I'm just happy that you get to do what you want to do now. Well, you make me sound like a selfish jerk or something. Well, to be fair, you are kind of a selfish jerk. Yeah, I know. But seriously, you're still so young. I want you to do what you want. You have a job, you provide for us, and Gracie will always be a part of your life. You just have some growing up to do, that's all. Well, we all do, don't we? Yeah, but some more than others. At least if they want to be parents first. I'll be a good dad though, right? Absolutely. You just have to not forget to put others before yourself. Especially your child. Yeah, I know. Like, seriously, David, when it comes down to it, she's going to have to be number one in your life. Not chicken drumsticks. I love my daughter. I do. I was just overwhelmed. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Grow into the role, you know? And besides, she has a great mom to pick up the slack. Well, okay then, David. But I can't pick it all up. I know. I know. I just have one question, though. Yeah? When is she allowed to try meat? David, no. Just kidding! Baby Gracie continued to grow into a happy and healthy baby girl. Emily and David eventually shared custody, and just as they were hoping, David eventually matured into the role of a father. He eventually came to the realization that was obvious to everyone else. He was just too young and immature to be a parent. The truth of the matter was some people just aren't cut out for it. Emily, on the other hand, was a fantastic mom, doting on Gracie at every turn. Her only competition in that regard was Aunt Bianca, who spoiled their niece every chance she got. Eventually, Gracie did try chicken, and to Emily's surprise, she loved it. 